morning viewers. This is the um, the main river that goes through Van Viang, and this is where <coughs> you do the tubing. <coughs> Excuse me, tubing, rafting, all that kind of stuff. You know, 15 years ago or 20 years ago, it was really renowned here in Van Viang for the for the tubing, um, but they've they've kind of uh, stopped it. Well, they haven't stopped it altogether, but um, it's not as popular as it used to be. But uh, anyway, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful river. As you can see this, you can sit over there and take it all in with all the limestone and cliffs in the, in the, in the backdrop. Happy days. So I'm taking this sketchy road to a, a viewpoint, apparently. There's these ducks down here having a, a swim in the, uh, in the water on the road. That's pretty cool, isn't it? The old ducks. I wonder how deep it is. Anyway, we'll have a look. too bad yeah one of the I think it's about five viewpoints went past this one yesterday I don't know if you remember seeing it on the on the vlog um, wasn't real keen yesterday to do it but I'm pretty keen to do it today be a bit of a uh, bit of a workout so we'll see how we go It's looking real sketchy now. That's what it's like here though. You, you think you're lost and you just keep on going and you end up at your destination. And a lot of the time it's it's the journey. The journey. It's not really the destination. I suppose a lot of people can relate to that one. has all these butterflies. Anyway. There's no signs or anything. There's no geezers around. So, not real sure. I'll just keep on going, I suppose. It's fucking hot diggity dog. Run my mark. Anyway. We go up over there. And we up there. I can, I can hear a car coming. Anyway, found my way. Bit of a hike. Got 
prickled out big time. Bit of blood there, viewers. Bloody prickles, mate. Crazy. Yeah, I'll clean myself up when I get up to the uh, the start. I'm knackered already. Don't know if you can see it, viewers. There's the the viewpoint. Right up there. I don't have my fingers on it. There, you can see that. Bit of a wooden structure hanging out of the the cliff top there with a I think it's a flag or something. Anyway. The lady reckons it takes 30 minutes to walk up there. She's smiling. She's probably never done it. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Put the runners on. Had a bit of a fucking water. Some water. Clean my, um, my cuts up. And uh, I'm ready to roll. So I'll see you up there. Brutal climb. They always are. It's hot, it's humid, it's sticky. It's pretty wet underfoot, so you've got to be careful. You wouldn't want to be slipping over up here. You'd bleed out like a pig. Anyway, it could be halfway. Who, who knows? But I'll tell you what, it's a good workout. It's a good job. I only had one, one BLL last night. Anyway, onwards and upwards. I remember when I was over in Sri Lanka a couple of years ago, up at um, the Lion Rock up in Sigiriya. I don't know if you remember that, viewers. But um, that was a bloody steep climb and a steep descent. And I went, I went arse over tit on the way back down. Cut me fucking elbow open. Had about five or six stitches. It was wet. I slipped over. I wasn't concentrating. And that's what can happen. So it's cha-cha. Doing cha-cha. That was epic. That was an epic climb. Look at the view. Vian Viang in the distance. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a valley here, doesn't it? With the limestone cliffs dotted around the, the place. Tamna rice fields down there. So beautiful. Nice and cool up here as well. Yan Yan Sabay. Anyway, like to know how they got that um, that car up here, or the buggy. Apparently, every viewpoint, I think there's about five of them in uh, Viang. They've all got uh, one of these buggies or a motorbike or something on top of the at the viewpoint, so you can actually have your photo taken. I'm not going to walk down there; it looks a bit too sketchy for me. I'm just going to take this view in. Don't know the name of the walk, I know. It's, it's one of five, but I don't know the name of it, but it's a just some, a word of advice. You've got to be half fit, you know what I mean? Don't take it on if you're not half fit. You know, if you go out the night before and have 10 beer Leos or beer Lau, you probably wouldn't do it either. You have an early night, plenty of fluids, Good climb though. Bloody great climb. Great view. All the Lao girls. A few ties. 
No Chinese, that's a bit of a bonus. Anyway, made it alive, back down, lost me sunnies, so, uh, you know, someone would have picked them up anyway, I think there was a couple of Lao people up there, anyway, they can have them worth a couple hundred dollars, but, you know, that's okay, that's, uh, that's one of the first things I've lost actually on this holiday, which um, is pretty good for me, because I do tend to lose a few things, you can just ask my wife, all my close friends and they'll tell you anyway it's good to be back in the pool just for chilling it's a little it's a little gem this one this hotel it's a real gem um pretty quiet nice rooms you've seen the room yeah pretty happy we're going to spend a couple more days here before i head up to luan pabang Anyway, it's just going to be chill time. So we're in the bar in uh, Vang Viang, the Irish bar, because there's always an Irish bar in, in some towns. And old mate's got it on, mate. Our old mate's got it on. The uh, Australia Island game. World Cup. Happy days. It's on over there. So it's half time here. Australia nil. Island nil. It's full of Irish. I mean, it's a few Aussies over there. I might go and talk to them later, but there's Irish. And they bring their green shirts with them as well. They've got their soccer shirts and all that stuff. It's a pretty boring game, but anyway, well, um, it's, it's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. It's hot as fuck too. Yeah, these guys here, the Aussie guys, and they're, they're great blokes, mate. Really good blokes. Watch Australia fucking beat Ireland. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys, hey. Great blokes, and that's what you travel for, you know? They're really good guys, man. I'm really, really, really happy. 